what's going on guys living and zombies here back with another pokemon go video and in today's video guys with this new season the world of wonders does of course come some new nesting pokemon species if you guys don't know what a nest is it's basically just a park location that does have multiple spawns a lot of spawns of one specific pokemon so with this new season does come some very good new nesting pokemon species so with the help of pogo central on twitter he did put together a very good infographic for us as to what is nesting globally and also what is nesting for each hemisphere the northern and the southern hemisphere so for the global nesting pokemon species we have pokemon such as the dene Nenkata, which do you remember Nenkata is shiny boost and you guys might be missing shiny Nenkata. It is kind of on the rare side. So that is nesting Sudowoodo, uh, Baneri, Gen 5 Darumaka, Wubat Corefish, Trap Inch in there, Skitty, Young Goose, uh, Adino, which is one of the best new nesting species. This has never nested before until now. Do remember, just off the base catch, no star piece, no weather boost. If you catch an Adino, you do receive 2100 Stardust. This park location in NYC Central Park is currently an Adino nest, and you will be getting a lot of Stardust from catching Adino at that park location. Now, I was hoping that the critical catch trick would work on a Dino, where if you make a perfect throw, the smallest possible circle on an Adino, it should give you a critical catch, a guaranteed catch of the Adino, but it does seem like that trick does not work on a Dino. So make sure you guys do have like some raspberries and some ultra balls to catch those Adino, uh, especially the high level Adinos at that nest location. So yeah, that's one of the best new nestings Pokemon species. Uh, that one is super, super good. Also, Lechonk is nesting you know a pretty recent shiny pokemon release right there murkrow binacle is a pretty good nesting pokemon uh we have c dot in there temple makuhita Pidove, fampy is another pretty good choice i think a lot of people still need shiny fampy glammy out cutie fly that shiny release like what last season uh so people might need that shiny cutie fly still that's also a very good choice right there gen 5 stunfisk that's not a bad choice either Blitzel, Hippopotas, Drillbur is pretty good. Uh, Badoof, Shuppet, Mischievous, Mareep, Yanma, uh, Horsey, Grubbin, and Volpix. So all of those are pretty decent choices for nesting Pokemon. Now there are some non-shiny nesting Pokemon too, such as like the evolution of Lillipop is in there. Smoliv, Chiram, Nimble, uh, Pikapek, and Crab Brawler. Now for the Hemisphere exclusive nesting Pokemon for the North is the Gen 5 starter Pokemon. Litleo, Wismer, Swablu, and some non-shiny ones are Deerling and the uh, Ducklet there too. Now for the South, it's the Gen 2 starters, Slackoth, Rufflet's not too bad. That's a pretty good nesting Pokemon and Electric along with some non-shiny nesting Pokemon there too, Deerling and Tynamo. So yeah, again, the best one that's nesting is a Dino for that Stardust. That is actually crazy. And a lot of these are pretty good too. Like I said, with the Cutie Fly, because that Shiny came out not too long ago. Uh, same with Lechonk. That's also a pretty good nesting Pokemon in there too. And then Kata, of course, is another very, very good nesting Pokemon. So yeah, I do believe the only nesting Pokemon that is perma boosted with a 1 in 64 shiny rate is the Nenkata. And the only nesting Pokemon that gives you more Stardust per catch is the Adino. Because yeah, we don't have like Kanto Meowth nesting this season or Shelter or Fungus. Those also give you some extra Stardust too, but those are not nesting this season. I wish that some of those were too, just in case you can't find an Adino nest. And plus again, Adino is pretty tough to catch. And I do also wish we had a few more perma boosted to pokemon that we're nesting to but like i said at least they chose nenkata because that is a pretty good one to choose for sure so yeah guys comment below your favorite nesting pokemon this season again i think it's a pretty solid list for nesting pokemon definitely not too bad so comment your thoughts down below thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed drop a like in the video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace